Hi there, this is a short little video regarding uh, my 2005 Beetle and trying to get a bike rack for it. Uh, I have been putting my bikes in the back. I took the back seat out 15 years ago and haven't put it in since uh, because I've been using it to put my bikes in there and quite frankly, I'm tired of it. Uh, so I wanted to get a hitch for my car. Um, first, I made sure my car was going to live another five years at least. Uh, it's in great condition, so I decided to go ahead and put the hitch on it. So I took some measurements uh, that I think you might be interested if you are also in the dilemma of having a low car and you want to transport your bike and not sure of what to get for a bike rack. So here is the setup. I did take some measurements and I will point those out to you, but I went ahead and got a hitch for my car and you can see how it is attached. Uh, there was really only one hitch available for my model of car, so that made the decision easier. I was concerned about whether the bike rack would hit the ground or not when I'm going up a certain steepness of driveway or going into parking lots, that sort of deal. I've tested it out and this is absolutely perfect. I've had no issues whatsoever. I chose this bike rack because it has a long distance or enough distance between the bumper and the rack so that I have no uh, issues about hitting the, the hatch with the rack. And I will open that up and so you can see the amount of space you've got. So I'll just point out some measurements here. So before I put the hitch on, the lowest point from the car to the ground was nine inches. And since I've put the hitch on, the lowest point from the hitch to the ground is only five and three quarter inches. So it's pretty tight, but it works well. Uh, the other measurement I took was from the bumper to the rack, the closest point on the rack and that is uh, seven inches, and that is plenty of room. Okay, so I'm going to open up the hatch so that you see exactly how much space there is between the edge of the hatch door and the rack. Plenty of space. So I have to say, I absolutely love the hitch and bike rack system that I put together. I've had it now for a couple of months and it's amazing. This bike rack in particular, it's the Thule Helium Pro 2 because it holds two bikes. And I'll just, this is not really a review of that, but I just love it so much I have to show you. So this is the fold away uh, system. I just lift this lever and the whole rack comes up, locks into place, and this rack has a stabilizer strap, so when you put your frame on, the back of the bike goes where the stabilizer strap is, and then you don't get that forwards and back sway. It is suitable for carbon bikes, which is fabulous, it's nice and soft, and it doesn't squeeze the frame. So here's another view of those straps. I'll just show you here. So it's nice soft rubber here. It's fairly soft here. It doesn't squeeze the frame, so it's great for carbon bikes. Uh, and here is the adapt the uh, stabilizing strap. So this is where your uh, down tube would fit and you just squeeze that in there and strap it down and it doesn't move back and forth. It is super stable. And I like that this actually locks to the vehicle see that it locks to the vehicle which is great and I know it said it wasn't going to be a review but I just love this I love this rack it has a lock here as well so this comes across and you can click it into here and lock your bike on there of course anyone who is uh, prepared with clippers can clip that and take your bike so it's it's not something you want to rely on exclusively, but if you're in a pinch and you have to run in quickly, then at least you have that option.
So I just wanted this to be a quick informative video. I hope you found this helpful. I was looking for information like this when I was searching things on YouTube and I didn't find anything that was exactly for my car. So I was a little bit nervous. I did take a lot of measurements before I took the plunge and made those changes, but boy, oh boy, am I ever happy. So if you have any questions about this system whatsoever, please write them down below. I'll be happy to answer any questions. Um, other than that, thanks for watching and have a super day. Bye.